Hi guys, it's Linda. And I know we're gonna um I know that the truckers are gonna do a one million truckers protest to Obama by shutting down America for three days in October. Um and I went and read the information I could on this and I thought back, wow, I remember when the truckers went on strike in nineteen seventy nine and and okay, yes, I'm old. Um but you know what eventually happened was um, people took it out on the truckers because the empire used it and um, now I'm not saying nothing bad I actually have a solution for this but let me tell you what happened in 1979 a lot of people lost jobs there was no food on the shelves there was no gasoline and that had to do with OPEC and that was one of the reasons the truckers were on strike and I'm going to leave a link to this but um, and eventually after that, that's kind of when jobs started getting shipped overseas really fast. So our manufacturing in America, actually, they used the trucker strike as a reason to ship jobs overseas because a lot of things closed down. Now, that hurt America in a big way. So I agree that 100 million or 1 million truckers should protest and as many that as possible should go to Washington DC but that's really not going to accomplish anything because the empires will use that against us you need to have a million truckers in every state or as many as you can get in every state blocking ports blocking the railroads blocking everything blocking the streets and this is what why I'm saying this is because if they cannot export the empires are still going to go on as business as usual if we can preventing them from importing and exporting things with truck because it'll shut down rail too then big trucks get on a railroad that's how you stop things I mean Indians have stopped uh, trains from passing through by st standing on railroads it can be done and they won't hit you um, and the police, if enough truckers did this, the police or the National Guard couldn't do a damn thing, nor the Army. And now I'm saying that we the people would have to stand behind this, and that means everyone, even if you're in a rural city or a big city, would have to get on a street corner and say, I support the truckers and the fall of the empire or whatever, because they're not listening to anything we do. We think we're getting headway and they throw another distraction and they are throwing plenty of distractions in our way. I say if the truckers, and I live with a truck driver, a truck driver who is unemployed at this time. So I say if the truckers want to do something, then they're going to have to do something that's really going to shock the empire and the exporting and importing business would be a good way to start. And I mean every port, every facility needs to be blocked in every town where I mean and truckers need to stop dead in their tracks on the road pull over the side of the road and when that day arrives and I believe it starts October 11th um, and, and just pull over and don't do anything or if you can get to the nearest port or someplace where they would transport stuff don't let it get exported out of America we need the jobs here we need to start becoming a manufacturing place again not for the military industrial arm but for us so we can be inventive and creative and maybe do something positive for once and this would be a good time to do that something positive where we could employ people and we could do things like we used to do and have businesses just you know spring up from everybody because we started manufacturing what we have here and we wouldn't do it to destroy the earth we'd actually do it to rebuild the earth and we could do this but it would take everybody to get off of, off their butts and I mean don't use do the banks don't go to the stores if you work in a store don't go to work that day do whatever you have to do unless it's for emergency measures and I'm going to say hospitals and stuff because those people have to go to work people depend on that um, but I, I'm telling you just stay home don't turn on that TV don't even turn on the internet that day when you turn the internet on three days later, and I'm sure we'll all have to take a peek, I'm not. But, you know, try not to do anything unless it's showing videos of truckers blocking the ports and stuff. I know I'll go to the port of Grays Harbor here. We'll see what's happening because I know a lot of stuff gets shipped there. I say let's start right here in Washington State. You truckers around here, block it. The people will stand behind you. If you're serious enough, stop. 
I mean, we've got to stop. Not every trucker can make it to Washington, nor do I think it would do any good. It didn't in 79. Like I said, it was turned and used against the truckers. And the truckers actually, the deregulations actually hurt the truckers. So let's do it positive. Stop the export and imports. Stop this stuff. Just stop everything. Not trying to bring America to its knees because if your neighbor's hungry or you see because of the stoppage people are hungry, go get gas and stuff ahead of time and food if you can afford it. But if you see somebody's hungry, you help them out. Because if the empire or America, this little empire, is stopped dead in its track across all the states, including Alaska, um, that would mean there'd be some people who would suffer, and that means you're going to have to show humanity. You're the part of you that has that. You're going to have to show empathy and not be apathetic. So you're going to have to reach out. And so I suggest in your local area, if you know somebody that may not make it through a crisis like this, if we don't do it and have demands met, you know food prices will skyrocket after the three-day um, one million truckers on DC and a lot of things they will do just like they did before because food will spoil and milk and dairy and such like that they will say went bad and they will shoot the prices of, of coffee sugar whatever you use around my world neck of the world I'm not actually that worried about it even if the truckers went on strike but in some places it would really harm people so it's going to have to be a 50 state thing and you're going to have to go to places where it's going to affect the empires the corporations the corporate engines the most for this to be an effective protest because all you're going to do is actually sanction Americans if you don't do it you know the proper way and that's what happened in 1979 and the truckers did get blamed for it people were angry at the truckers and they didn't have, they, it was the empires, it's our empire, our corporation's fault. I call it the empires. The small empire's fault. It wasn't the truckers' fault. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the people blame the truckers. So that's your divide and conquer strategy. So if the truckers want to do this, 50 states or all the states. I mean, every, every place America has a, a base. If you have to take something to a port that you know that's going to, Guam or someplace, don't let that Pepsi or Coca-Cola get on a barge to cross the ocean. You hear me? You truckers, we will stand behind you. Make this viral. I'm going to leave a link of what happened in 1979. So this has to go right. Three days. We all can do this. We can stand behind the truckers, but we don't need Washington, D.C. on a weekend when they're not there to listen anyway. And the only people it's going to hurt is they'll use it against us. We have to learn from what's happened in history and turn it on the empires. And I would like you to leave your comments below. You can agree or disagree with me, but I've lived through it once before and saw what happened. And I'd like to see something positive, positive happen this time around. I love you all. Peace, love, truth. Linda's out. And please remix this as many times as you can. I can't get on Facebook. I don't have a Facebook. So please post this on the trucker's page if someone would. I would appreciate it because I am in support of this. But you have to learn from the past. You do. You have to do things a little bit different because the empires predict you're not going to change up things. You're going to do it the same old way. Give them a little different taste of, you know, what they think. Let's think outside the box. And I do love you all. And I'm out.